As we mark Pride Month here tonight, the groundbreaking exhibition at this year's Tribeca Festival dedicated to the LGBTQ community by collecting and preserving personal histories. As CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports, it's done with virtual reality and biometrics so you can see how visitors react emotionally to this experience. This larger-than-life work depicts the artist who sculpted it, Patricia Cronin, and her wife artist, Deborah Cass, placed at Woodlawn Cemetery 20 years ago. So I depicted Deborah and myself, you know, um, with dignity. So it's three tons of marble of the two of us. Full-size replicas of this work titled Memorial to a Marriage are in museums around the world, but now it is also in a virtual reality one. It makes me so proud to have the first marriage and equality monument in the first VR LGBT museum. Art lovers donning VR headsets are wowed by what they see at this installation for the Tribeca Festival. I've seen people laugh. I've seen someone cry. I've seen people gasp a lot. Antonia Forster is creator and director of the LGBTQ plus VR museum. So we'll put that on you. Oh, how cool. Okay, already it's full. I entered the virtual museum. Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin was my first clumsy attempt at age 14 to come out to my family. These wedding shoes were purchased by a couple long before the legalization of gay marriage. They bought this pair of wedding shoes almost as a joke, saying, oh, one day when marriage is legal, we'll wear them. And then much later, queer marriage was legalized and she did actually wear the shoes. So this is just going to measure your heart rate. And then these two are going to measure the amount of sweat on your skin. As I toured her exhibit, Forster could see my reactions with the help of science. Just like every visitor before I put on the so VR gear, I was yes. all wired up. Can you see it's pulsing? That's your heart rate. There you go. Yeah, your emotions are going very strong. Are they? How yeah. The pink, the pink and purple on the monitor. It's so democratic. The idea that so many people are going to have access to this that might not have access. This exhibit filled with love and pride runs through June 19th. In Tribeca, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. And as the museum expands and travels, an all-New York version of it is planned for mid-September in Chelsea.